front of you all may best be summed up in one word, unprecedented. Unprecedented, which is defined as never having been done or known before, has likely been used innumerable times over the past year and has become synonymous with the pandemic. But in this case, I want to relate this term to all of you because we are a high school class that has, that has achieved that has achieved something that has never been seen before. We've all experienced a variety of ups and downs, including week-long quarantines, online classes, mask classes, endless unfinished Google Classroom projects, botched check-ins, coffee and dedication fuel all-nighters, and many other things. Living in such extraordinary times has taught us to value life's little pleasures. Through these trying circumstances, we have now learned what the idiom through thick and thin means. Throughout the year, we were thrust into a maelstrom of uncertainty and difficulty, but we overcame it in ways we never could have imagined. We will all remember the friendship we forged among ourselves that looked out for each other at every step of the way. Borrowing a quote from one of my favorite scientists, Stephen Hawking, however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. When you feel like the weight of the world is upon you, find a reason to get back up again and bounce back. Remember that the only way we can fail is if we give up. If there is one message I want you to take away from this speech, it is that we are all capable of overcoming any challenge that comes our way. You all had a difficult high school experience that had never transpired before. But you triumphed over it and made it worthwhile. I dedicate this accomplishment to my parents and siblings whom I drew my strength from. I stand witness to your hard work and sacrifices just so we can be educated in this institution. To my mama, who is my number one supporter, advisor, my mentor, and loving mother, thank you for being so supportive and for guiding me throughout the years. I am forever grateful for all the effort you and Papa have put into raising us. To Mommy, Tita Cherry, Lola George, Lola Tita, uh, Lola Didi, Auntie Anne, Auntie Nene, and my cousins, Kuya DJ, Derek, and Denise. Thank you for being there for me. Your love and support have fueled me in facing everyday challenges. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my advisor, Mrs. Carries G. Roshana. I can compare myself to a lackluster rock, yet she saw my potential that no one else has, and even I doubted myself countless times before. Who would have thought that an introvert such as myself would have the guts to join a school pageant, to join a school pageant and speak among you here today? Yet she pushed me and gave me all the support I need every step of the way. And for that, I am very grateful for giving me the opportunity to shine and show them what I am capable of, for believing in me and helping me become who I am today. As a class, we may be stubborn at times, but deep in our hearts, we are blessed to have you as our mentor and advisor. To my friends, thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Through all the highs and lows, I am proud to be with you. I am sorry for my past mistakes and I will strive to be better. To my past and present teachers, I have the utmost respect for all of you, since you have significantly impacted and transformed our lives. Thank you for always putting in your best efforts and helping us generously with your time, knowledge, and experience. To Sir Jeffrey Moreno, the one person I fear the most, yet whom I deeply respect, Thank you for disciplining and molding us 
to how my passion should be. To my alma mater, I am truly grateful for the 12 years of my stay in this institution with, with the invaluable wealth of knowledge as well as the values inculcated in us, but also for the opportunity to compete outside the school, for the favorable learning atmosphere, and I am grateful to be a part of it. Truly, our school was a fountain of knowledge and experience. To our God Almighty, thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon me and for guiding me in my darkest moments. For my fellow completers who will soon leave this institution, I hope you all come to me. I hope you all come to achieve your dreams and that you come to succeed and excel in your chosen life. Put to heart the Marian values our beloved school has instilled in us. Your journey may see us separate, but it will not see us fall apart as friends. Some of you, some among you transferring are my closest friends who have been with me for a long time. Yet, I will cherish our friendship. I will remain in touch with you all. And if you have an outing plan, do let me know. Name and I will place that. I would like to end my speech with a French quote. Vive comme si vous deviez mourir demain, apprenez comme si vous deviez vivre de jour. Live as if you should die tomorrow, and learn as if you should live forever. Whichever path we choose, we will forever share a common bond, and that is being completers of the great 10 2022 2023 batch of ICAS de Calarica. Ah, uh, this has been John K. Egerton. Your batch valedictorian. Thank you so much and may God bless us all.